another really good insight for charities is the fact that sometimes we talk about social media and uh, in one in section over here and then we talk about mobile over here and we have different sessions one for social and one for mobile well what's really important and industry understands this now is that social and mobile are completely intertwined the social experience is now inherently a mobile experience we know that people that use um, mobile Facebook are two times more active inside Facebook than those that are not mobile and we also know that the, the biggest group of um, socially um, uh, social networking um, sort of uh, the biggest group of people that use social networking and mobile devices are women between the ages of 34 and um, 54 that is really your typical donor group right there and they are most active on mobile and um, social networking we also know that uh, Twitter users, 60% of Twitter users are reading your tweets from a mobile device. So anything you put on Twitter or Facebook, now you might use a PC or a laptop to post it, um, that's your experience, but your audience is reading it on a smartphone or on a tablet. So if you tweet something that's not mobile optimized or you put something on Facebook that's not mobile optimized, you are not reaching out to your audience in, in the way that you really should be. So it's important to make sure that you're not tweeting stuff that's uh, not um, like a flash of video that wouldn't work on the iOS or these giant PDF downloads. You, know, you can put that stuff in slideshow that's mobile optimized or like some giant video file that on, on a platform that's not mobile optimized, YouTube is mobile optimized, or tweeting links to donation forms that don't work on smartphone browsers, or on websites that don't work on smartphone browsers. Um, I've seen many people uh, that are doing peer-to-peer -peer and they have online fundraising pages that include some kind of flash or plug-in that when I click because I want to pledge my friend and she tweeted about her event on Twitter, um, I'm not able to reach her page on, on my smartphone. So that's a conversion that's lost. We know that 61% of people that browse to a non-mobile optimized site will not come back and visit it on the PC or, or laptop. So that's not really going to happen. So it's really important to have um, make sure that anything you do in social it would work in mobile. It works for your, you know, it's important for your emails too. We're all trying to mobile optimize our emails, but social is an, is an easy one. So we have to um, now realize that when we talk about social, we have to have a conversation about mobile at the exact same time. Um, that's an important insight.